21. <laughs> good. good job. <laughs> the stadium's going to be very loud, and uh, our guys are going to be really ready to play. It's uh, it's an enormous opportunity for a spectacular night Wednesday. No, la verdad que es un partido muy, muy importante para nosotros, eh, el, el más importante de mi carrera. Así que nada, estoy con mucha ansiedad y muchas ganas de que llegue el miércoles para, para poder jugarlo. We're in a situation now where we can, if we get a result on Wednesday, we can represent Salt Lake City, represent Utah, represent the United States uh, at the, uh, the biggest stage. So uh, I think um, the fans are aware of that. I think they're going to be out in numbers on Wednesday night. You know, in terms of what it means historically, you know, I, I think it, it really makes a difference if we win or not. I mean, we've gotten some press. Uh, the U.S. World Cup team got some press. And I know uh, no matter how you view how that finished, everybody thought we could have beat Ghana. Uh, and everybody's going to think the same thing. We could have beat Monterey if we don't win this game. And, um, you know, we, we've knocked on this door. Uh, 2002, you have a great run. You go to the quarterfinals. We're in the Confed Cup final. We upset Spain. But every time where U.S. soccer has been so close, we weren't able to finish off. And um, we haven't had that Lake Placid moment, the, the 1980 U.S. hockey team. And I think that's the opportunity that I think we have in front of us. I think we have uh, an event on that scale uh, to put the world on notice uh, that American soccer is taking another step forward. very unique in that you have 26, 27 guys that can actually start and play in big games. 
So it, is, it has been very difficult with watching the coaches and making decisions on who to put in and when to, you know, how do you, who, who do you put in versus this guy because they're all starters, you know, they're all potentially starters. I think as a player, it's been, uh, you know, it's been pretty easy. Uh, you know, all the guys are, are good guys. And then uh, I think, um, you know, on the field, I think we all uh, have, you know, want to go and that's, you know, winning. Like I said, I'm happy to be here. Uh, didn't take long to, you know, to get, you know, get along with everyone. And then uh, I think, uh, you know, once they see what you can do on the field and, you know, obviously it makes it easy on you. Uh, this is huge. Um, this is, <laughs> this this is massive. Is, yeah, this is just uh, a different level um, from what any team I think has done in the MLS. Um, anything I've been a part of and seen in the MLS, this is reaches the top, you know. And, and 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 I think these guys are ready for it. So this is this is uh, bigger than anything I've been a part of. You know, just coming here as a new guy, you know, as a new player, uh, you know. This tournament pretty much has been played all of last year, and I wasn't here, so um, I'm kind of I'm kind of glad I, I came in against Monterey and, and, and I had an assist. I felt like I needed to, you know, kind of you know, throw a little something in there from, from my part, you know, to feel you know like I you know helped this team do, you know do something in this tournament. And like CJ said, a lot of people are uh, you know satisfied the, with the fact that we, you know we made it to the finals and we've gone this far. But uh, we are obviously appreciate the support, but I think. Uh, I think we're all going to be satisfied whenever we're, uh, you know, lifting the trophy on Wednesday. exciting game it's really a game that growing up playing soccer it's something these are the type of games you, you live for and, uh, really when this tournament started I was I kind of didn't really want to be a part of it I, I was kind of rather be playing in the Superliga you don't have to travel as much more bonus money blah 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 it was like that that sounded more uh, sounded better to me but as we've taken this journey in this tournament and gone down to all these places and um, had extra games here so our fans could see and, and get the community and, and uh, our fans like a different look at, at uh, the way soccer is around the, around the world. It, it's been awesome. It's been a really fun ride. And um, I didn't really think that we'd ever, you know, you, you just don't look that far ahead. And, um, to finally be here, it's, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, it, it just, it, it kind of happened so fast. It, you know, I was just going for the ball, trying to go in, you know, not even hard, not trying to make any statement tackle or anything, just going after the ball. I um, think maybe I was going to be a little late, so I kind of got out of it, knowing that I had this yellow card. Um, and sure enough, like, as soon as I went, the guy dropped like he got shot, and uh, the referee bit on, on the acting. And I saw him reach for his card, and I just, I grabbed his shirt where the card was and I held on as hard as I could and then eventually the ref he looked down at his at his pocket to why he couldn't get this yellow card out and he saw that I was grabbing it and um, Javier was trying to plead his case in Spanish and it just it, nothing nothing we can do he's gonna give me a yellow card and um, I mean it, it just uh, I had a really had one good scream, and then uh, I just had to get on with it because uh, if I would have done anything stupid, uh, it just would have wouldn't have been fair to the rest of the guys. It was 
was super hot and uh, we were just battling for our lives at that time. And so I just, you know, sucked it up, think about the uh, second leg later and uh, it just kind of hit me at the end of the game that I can be able to play in this game. And uh, it hurt a lot, but I just got to get on with it and I'll be a fan tomorrow. Figuring it out, but one, probably somewhere up there. Um, I think Garth sits in next to the call 700 in the radio. It's nothing fancy, but at least it'll keep you out of the cold a little bit. Um, but if I get in the middle section, which doesn't happen often, that's that means you're in the good uh, the good suites with the with the owners. They got the, the nice suites. So we'll see, but if we win, um, I'll be down here with the guys.